Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to sideload IPA files to your iOS device. This works on iPadOS and on iPhone, so iOS, and you can use either a Windows computer or Mac and do it completely for free. After a long time, we are finally able to download third-party apps onto our iPhone like we always have been able to on Androids. Similar to Android, there's a .ipa file. On Android, it's a .apk file, and on iOS, we'll be using .ipas. So we can go ahead and download this application, and this does involve connecting your phone to the computer to do this. And for an example, you can find third-party apps on this app store called appdb.2. So all of these are third-party apps that you can download and find from here. And then another example for this video that I'll be showing is a game emulator. So this is a pretty good app and it can be either installed through Sideloadly, which I'll be showing in this video, or the Alt Store. Alt Store is a little bit more complicated setup, but I recommend this because this is very simple and straightforward. So go ahead, I'll link all this down below, and just for a demo, I'll be doing this app. You don't have to do the same app, you can choose a different one on AppDB. So once everything is installed, we can go ahead and just transfer that. After we have it installed, we can go ahead and open the app. The first time setup does take some time, so while you're waiting, make sure you have your Apple ID and go ahead and also connect your iPhone via a cable. So here after you connect it, you can see the iPhone and you may need to enable developer mode on your phone. But here is the screen of my iPhone here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the IPA file that we downloaded. And I've already signed in with my Apple ID, but you will have to do the same. Your Apple ID password is not shared with the app. It is shared with Apple servers to uh, give you developer access. So as you can see, it's going through that process and then communicating with Apple. And then now it is going to be transferring the app to our phone. And in a little bit, we will see the app show up on our iPhone. After the app is installed, we can see the new Delta icon there. And you may see this pop up that says untrusted developer. And since this is our first time installing it, we will have to essentially trust our own developer account to allow installation. Now, if you haven't done a developer account before, you may need to go to the developer settings and then enable developer mode on your iPhone. I've already done that here. And if you haven't, it's a pretty quick setup. And now go to general and then VPN and device management and then click on your Apple ID and then go ahead and allow the app we just installed. And now, as you can see, the app works flawlessly. You can do this for any app that you find online. And if you have any other questions or any apps that you'd like me to try, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below.